Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dylan and I run the tennis channel, Tennis with Dylan, also on Instagram and TikTok. Today's session is going to be all about the ball toss for your serve. Having an accurate, well-placed ball toss helps the service motion to be nice and fluent and continuous. If you do not have a consistent ball toss, this can be a big downfall in the process when serving to your maximum abilities. I'm gonna give you guys a range of different exercises that you can do to improve your serve. So follow along, it's gonna be a lot of fun and hopefully I can help you to take your serve to another level. The ball toss is one of the most important components of the serve. I like to break it down into the ball toss first before the racket motion starts. The key thing here is to focus on one at a time, to go through the process, making sure you do not rush in a controlled, smooth motion. How I like to break up the serve is the ball first before the racket. I like to go through a one-two count with the ball placed in the air first, and the racket coming second. So we can start with a few shadow motions to get yourself a little bit more confident before actually striking of the ball. Let's go through the process. Ball first, racket delay second. Ball before racket. And another way I like putting it is saying slow, fast. Think about that ball toss being very slow and controlled. Then the racket as it comes up to set in that loading phase, fast to accelerate through your ball. A very important thing to remember is when you have the ball in your hand, you do not want to hold it tightly. As you can see carefully, my ball is in between my fingertips, but it's not too low, neither too high. I don't want to squeeze it really tightly in a tense fist, because therefore I won't have as much relaxation, and neither do I want to hold it in the fingertips, because I will lose a bit of control. So as you can see, it's not too tight, not too loose. You do not rush your ball toss. Take your time and gradually place the ball into the air. Instead of saying ball toss, ball place into the air. The first exercise we're gonna start off with is with a cup of water. What we're going to try to imagine is that we are placing the cup into the air. So it's like you're raising the glass, but cheers. If you could imagine your arm is nice and straight with no elbow bend, your arm is going to go nice and straight placing this ball also a cup into the air. If you were to imagine that you would toss the ball or flick and bend with your elbow, you're likely to let the ball release and lose control of where the ball placement will be. So a great tip to imagine is get yourself a glass or cup and guide and just placing that cup into the air, imagining you're placing that ball. For exercise number two, all you need is the ball. We're gonna place the ball into the air and catch the ball with the same hand in the air. This will help you to give yourself a more accurate placement for your ball toss. If the ball starts moving around and you have to move your feet in order to catch the ball, then therefore your ball toss will not be in a good place when striking of yourself. I'll take you through a few repetitions of placing the ball into the air and catching with the ball toss arm. As you can see, nice and high, catching. If my ball toss arm goes a little further behind and I have to move my feet, therefore my ball toss placement will not be as accurate. So let's go ball to catch nice and high. So that will enable me to swing nicely when executing on my surf. The third exercise is one of my favorites. What we're going to do is place the ball on our fist. So this will prevent you from flicking from your ball toss hand. Place the ball on top of your fist, keep your arm nice and extended, and just practice that placement of the ball into the air. Let's give it a go. Placing the ball on top of your fist, extending up nice and high, and serving. Let's prop the ball in the fist, extend up into the air, helping me with my serve. You can practice this a few times if you're not sure of the placement, but this is a great way in preventing you from flicking with your hand. The fourth tip that I want you to focus on is making sure where you actually release the ball. The focus point here is releasing between the eye level to the top of the forehead. This is very important in helping you to have an accurate place ball toss, keeping it in line with your ball toss arm over your ball toss shoulder. As I'm placing the ball toss into the air, I do not want to release it too late, because if I release it too late, the ball will go behind me. If I release it too early, the ball toss will go in front of my body. So we want to imagine that your eye level and the top of your forehead is the perfect alignment for the ball to go straight up into the air to stay in that nice neutral position when helping you serve. 
If you are enjoying these ball toss tip exercises, then feel free to subscribe and check out more tennis videos to come. Number five is a great way to add the accuracy of your ball toss placement. So we're gonna use a hoop and we're gonna place it just in front of our front leading leg. This will help us with the placement of the ball toss before accurately landing inside of this hoop. I'm gonna place this hoop just in front of my leading leg and I'm gonna give my ball toss arm a few little practice goes. Placing the ball, checking where the ball lands. The key part here is to not rush the ball toss placement. Focusing on a controlled placement of your arm. I'm accurately hitting a few ball tosses, so let's give it a go a little bit smoother. Sometimes the wind may be a factor. So if the wind starts blowing the ball from, let's say, my position will be left to right, I may need to adjust my ball toss a little bit further to the left to compensate that in helping it to stay more accurate. Likewise, if it was blowing from the other side, I might want to place the ball a little bit further to my right so it can blow into the sweet spot for me to accurately hit my serve over my racket shoulder. What I would highly encourage you guys to focus on is when you're placing that ball toss into the air and it lands inside of the court, you want to feel as though you can extend up and into the court. Can you see where the top of my racket is pointing towards my back toe? My arm is fully extended and I have a nice little stretch point from the point of my racket down to my foot. This will in turn give me great extension when serving and applying my maximal force into my power serve. Previously, I've shown you guys two balls in other videos, so make sure to check them out as well, helping you with the timing of your serve. But this is one of my favorite exercises to help you with the placement and timing when hitting of the racket and the ball. Earlier, I talked about the placement of the ball first before the racket incoming, focusing on the one and then the two, slow control with the ball and then fast with the racket arm. If my ball toss is placed correctly in the right position, this will enable me to release with my arm, which will be the racket arm, towards my ball at contact. Let's go with a few to try to hit them. Ball, racket. Oh, first time. Let's go again. Ball, racket. Two for two. Exercise number seven is one of my favorites and we're gonna use a fence or wall to help us with the ball toss. And we're gonna get a good responsive feedback from the wall in correspondence to what our arm is doing. I'm standing a little closer to the fence. What I want you to picture is if you were to place the ball nice and accurately, your arm should go up and the ball should not touch the fence. Neither should it go behind your head. So this would be a nice placement for your ball toss arm. If you were to release too early, the ball's gonna bounce into the fence. And likewise, if you were to release the ball too late, the ball's gonna go behind your head. So using a fence or wall can be a great way to help you accurately place that ball toss into the right position when executing yourself. When serving, I want you to imagine something. If you place the ball up into the air and you don't want to hit it because it's not in the right place, it is okay to let the ball bounce. This also happens on the pros. And a common thing is to not try to chase the ball if it's not in a good position. As long as you don't accelerate and swing with your racket, you will have that serve again. I'll show you a few serves, and if the ball is in the right position, I'm gonna strike it. If not, I will let the ball bounce. As you can see, the ball was a little bit too far to my right. I tried to rush with my hand, therefore the ball wasn't going to be as placed accurately to where I wanted it. You can tell by the way my body is positioned as well. If I'm falling into the court naturally and I'm not leaning or swaying after, then it will give me a good estimation of, is my body in a good position when I'm moving after my serve? Nice service motion, good ball toss placement. Let's go for one more. Ace T. I'm a big advocate for volume and repetition. Just practicing doing the specific work for your ball toss in order to help you have an accurate serve. Continuous and efficient. Do not try to rush this. This can take months, even years to master. And sometimes you might have days where your ball toss placement is not as good. It is okay, we all have days like that. Just try to stay calm and relaxed with the arm, even shaking it out every now and then before you serve. 
I hope you enjoyed these coaching tips on how to improve your ball toss. And if you have any questions, then feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, be sure to subscribe. It really helps my channel. And thank you for the support. I hope to see you soon. Take care.